what up guys this is Pastor Canag again we're coming up with another tutorial in JavaScript and today we're going to be doing a little project uh, with uh, random images where all of this we have image 1, image 2, image 3 and all of them uh, basically they are just random images and all of them match or they, they become to be the same images it will say you win you know I changed the text for you win is going to be red if you don't don't match those images you're going to say a loser yeah in a way this behaved like a, a slot machine in a way just a little bit and with this project we're going to be using everything what we have learned so far you know and we're going to use, we're going to be using the DOM we're going to be using if statements and variables etc so this is how it's going to look like exactly like this and let's refresh it I mean you can add the button which is cool but I just didn't want to add a button you can add that if you can then also you can just make it so nice with with CSS so I didn't do that much with it all right so let's do it all right so let's see ah uh, oh man I'm losing I'm losing money money with this one let's see we're just trying this project ah uh, let's see come on come on Come on, random images. Let's win, please. I'm losing money over here. Come on. Oh, man. Come on. Not yet. Not yet. Almost there. Almost there. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe this time. Maybe. No, now. Maybe now. Come on. So we got papayas. We got mangoes. We got tomatoes. We got oranges. Oh, come on. I don't want to be here for a long time. You know, I should compare just two images instead of three. Just take it too long. Um, come on, let's see, let's see. Oh man, it's not doing it. What? Come on, make me win, please. Come on, oh no. What? Oh, finally, papayas match. Image one, two, and three is papaya, papaya, papaya. And it says you win. Finally, it took me, <laughs> took me a while, but this is how it will work, the project. All right. So well, let's go ahead. I'm ready to start. So I got my HTML file ready. We're going to do everything HTML. Okay. All right. So let's do it. So right here on the side, I already have my images. Those images, I got fruit one, fruit two, fruit three, four, five, and six. They're on the folder, my uh, images. Okay. All right, let's hide that. And let's just keep our HTML file. And let's do it. So we're going to do a div. And then we're going to say the class con is going to be by the name container. And then inside our div is going to be a h1. We're going to say refresh me. Refresh me. Okay. And then here we're going to have another div. So this one wouldn't have a class name. Let's just leave it like that. Uh, let's just do a p. And then we're going to do a image, image one, and then here we're going to have the image. So we're going to say class. We're going to say class right here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Wow. <coughs> wow. Excuse me. <laughs> Just is nasty. So right here we're going to say image img uh, one and then we're going to say images and then we'll say fruit fruit one fruit one uh what I be fruit one dot jpg that's my first image that's cool so and then we're going to do we're going to copy this let's just paste it four three uh two more times one and 
two and we're going to change it right here image two and here's going to be image three and then right here we're going to do for the class name is going to be img2 and img3 and right here we're going to say fruit 3 and fruit 6 let's save that and see what we have in our in our browser okay we got three images okay we got those images right here cool that's what we need but we want to fix our images all right okay now so let's just do our style CSS style we're going to add it right here in our HTML oh man what what the heck it's just a style no styles yeah that worked let's get rid of this media screen Okay, and right here we are going to have IMG. Let's delete this. And right here we're going to say IMG. And then we're going to, we want for the width for the images, we want 300 pixels. And also the height is going to be also 300 pixels and that should take care of that let's save that and let's check it out okay that's good that's pretty good okay now let's fix this a little bit more Okay, let's do container, container class, and then right here we're going to say a height of 70, view height, semicolon, and then we're going to say display, flex, and then we're going to have justify content. And we're going to say space around, and then we'll say align items. We're going to do center. Save that and see what we have. Okay, that's what we need. All right, so these images don't do anything yet because it's only HTML and CSS. We didn't use JavaScript yet. So now, let's add some JavaScript. Our script is going to be over here. Let's just do the tags for a script. Okay, get rid of that. Right here. All right, let's, let's do this. Okay. So we're going to do a variable let. And then we're going to say random random number one equals two we're going to use math that floor and then we're going to do math that random open closing parenthesis times six which is going to give us five images but we're going to add plus one just to give us six images semicolon okay all right now let's just do another variable let random images random image source source one is going to be equal to uh, I'm going to do image, images for the folder, and then we're getting all the images by the name fruit, because all of them have that, and then we're going to catenate right here, we're going to say random number, random number one, 
concatenate and we're going to get the extension which is going to be uh, jpg okay cool and right here we're going to say uh, the method the object document and then we're going to use query selector method query selector selector all and then we're going to do the element by the class name img all the img ones okay which that's what we have img1 img2 and img3 and here we're going to do the array so we're going to pass the first one was going to be zero for the first um, for the first image and then we're going to uh, do set attribute we're going to do the source comma and then we're going to say random yeah, random image source one. Okay. Cool. Let's save that. And let's see what we have. Okay. That's working good. First one is it's working good. Alright, so let's go back. let's just copy all of this all of these line of codes so let's just do for we'll just change right here for the variable we're going to say 2 basically it's going to be the same thing we're going to change 2 right here we're going to say a 1 2 okay and then we're going to do 3 same so it makes it a lot easier huh three 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 this is two this is three so let's double check two oh yeah let me change over here this is two 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 three 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 run the number three run the image three okay it's IMG. Okay, let's save that. And let's check it out. Okay, cool. That's working. Now we gotta change the text. Okay, let's use the if statement. Let's compare right here if. If random number number one equals equals to random number two, and then we do and random number one. equals equals to run the number three okay if that's true we're going to say let let's call this color winner the, I say color winner for the text equals to document that query selector we don't need all but we're going to do just query selector and then we're going to say h1 and the semicolon and then we're going to do the element color winner that uh, inner HTML
in HTML equals you win. So basically the text is going to change from refresh me is going to be this. If you win it's going to say you win. Okay, you win. And the semicolon same thing um, else yeah we want to do else we're going to copy all of this this line of, this block of code coming back over here and we're going to say right here loser color <laughs> I just put a loser color so it's going to be h1 it's going to change either if you win or if you lose and I say loser. Okay, so right here is going to be loser. Let's just do the, the color since we're just right here. We're going to say color winner that style that color. I think we say it's going to be red. Okay, cool. And then we do the same thing over here. Loser color. Yeah, I'm missing the color right here. That style. That color. What color we say it was blue. Okay. And the semicolon, let's save that and this should work for us. Let's see it. Alright. For the moment they don't do anything. Okay. But now yeah, refresh me. Wait a minute, what happened? Let's go back. There is something not right. Let's see, what are we missing? Um query selector. Let's see h1 so let's check our code so that should change it still can refresh me it should change inner html so i'm just checking the code you know Okay, random number one equals two, number two, and random number one equals equals number three. Okay, let color winner equals document that query selector h1. Okay, color winner that inner. Oh yeah, that's what is that's what my issue is. I did it lowercase. It is H T. Uh, it is uppercase. So that's what my issue is. That's why it's not doing anything. See? Okay, let's save it, and now it should work. Okay, loser. Yeah, now worked. Let's see. Let's see if we can win. Man, with this game, I would be losing a lot of money already. Let's see. Come on, come on. Should be right now. I should be winning. Ah, not yet. Not yet. Let's see. Uh, come on, guys. Come on. Random images. Let's do this. Huh. So it has to work. If it doesn't work, that means the program is not working. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh. Oh yeah, finally. You win. I won. Cool. That worked. As expected. Alright guys, thank you for checking the video. Hopefully this video kind of helped you out. A little bit um, on your way to become a web developer, you know, this was the basics. You only need to know the basics and then you just build projects and more projects. The more projects you build, the better. You will, you will like, increase your skills and 
you will be able to do amazing programs all right so that was it for for to, uh, for today so have a good night and i will see you in the next video all right bye bye